definitely building up to something here. Not really sure. We're gonna find out. What's up, YouTube? Salvoju here. Welcome back to another reaction video. I hope you guys are having a good day. Almost the end of the week for me. Hopefully, the end of the week for you goes well. And before we get started, I do want to invite you guys to a live stream this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to do a game that um, we used to play on live streams. And it's really just actually not a really a game, but like a tournament slash chat vote where we pick a topic and then it is a uh, elimination style tournament where you you guys vote on songs or bands or albums whatever it is and one moves on and then there's a winner at the end basically so this week's topic is best cover song so you guys can vote live in the chat with other people and it'll just be a fun little hangout so if you want to join me that is sunday at eight okay this is a vip patreon request from kona thank you for all of the support to this channel and for suggesting a new artist as well george michael i've probably heard his name rings familiar i've probably heard a song of his not knowingly however long ago you know but um as of right now i'm i'm not sure so it is pretty new to me Alrighty, let's see English singer songwriter, record producer. He's one of the best selling musicians of all time, with his sales estimating at 100 to 125 million records worldwide. A prominent figure in popular music, Michael was known as a creative force in songwriting, vocal performance, and visual presentation. He achieved 10 number one songs on the US Billboard 100, Hot 100 and 13 number one songs in the UK, including a long list of awards, as it says here. The song we're about to listen to called Father Figure comes off an album called Faith, which came out in 1987. Pop, funk, R&B, synth, pop, soul, rock, blue-eyed soul. Let me just uh, go down here. Do, 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 do. Top pop albums, one, 1988 for the Billboard Year End Number One Awards. Album of the Year, Grammy. Okay, well, that's all I need to know. That is all. This song is pop and R&B, everybody. There goes into the concept here, released in 1987 again. Reached number one, of course, and number 11 in the UK. Top five hit in Australia, Belgium, Canada, Iceland, Ireland, Netherlands, and Spain. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. George Michael. Okay. Video to go along. Hopefully we don't have any issues with that. Let's check it out. Sure, why not? Definitely building up to something here. Not really sure. We're gonna find out.
that came in so hot. That was like almost like a an electronic drop, like a EDM drop or something. That's how hard it hit. But there wasn't even. It's not even like that bassy. It's just a. That was weird. It was so good though. I knew something was coming. I was... Interesting sound. touch Okay, Egyptian. I was gonna say Arabian, like an Arabian style music or sound to it. Oh, it was like sprinkled in somewhere over here. I love that they did it at the end, and I also love the acoustic guitar that was nicely there at the end as well. Oh, a little bit more of that, and this would have been perfect to me. This would have been perfect. A little bit more of both of those um, sounds, like throughout the song, it would have been just absolutely perfect for me not that i didn't like it i obviously loved it <laughs> oh wow he's got a nice raspy voice nice raspy tone okay george michael yeah i'm not really sure if i've heard anything else from him though because the voice itself doesn't sound familiar the name is the voice isn't so i don't know uh good video by the way goes along with the topic uh very well <laughs> can't really say anything else about that La, la, la. Um, 
Man, I wish we had the uh, instruments here. Yeah, I really wish we had the instruments here. Yeah, there's some stuff going on in there. That was really good. Oh, what did, yeah. Kona didn't mention it was very atmospheric. I have to agree. And uh, the echo has uh, nice, adds to that sort of feeling as well, definitely. And his voice adds to that too, with that uh, raspy tone that he's using and just kind of mystique to it. Just uh, definitely one uh, that I like a lot. Hop and R&B, huh? Hmm. George Michael. I had no idea that he was uh, that popular, but then again, I was just a kid. So now I know. <laughs> Anyways, that was a great song. It, that, that drop really threw me. It really threw me. That was just... I knew it was building up to something. I just really... Really wasn't sure what direction it was gonna go. If it was gonna increase in tempo or like trying to do uh, more of a pop song instead of R and B mostly. Uh, yeah, oh, nice surprise. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that reaction. That was fun. And, and um, Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. If you want to come join us and hang out, even if you just want to come say say hi, you don't have to stay. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Anyways, see you guys then or in the next video, whatever happens first. <laughs> Peace.